Hey guys, The Animal King here. Do you remember Riding Dirty by Chameleonaire? It's one of the many songs in hip hop that went after racism in the justice system in America. But while the song is good, it failed at some level to be what it wanted to be, with Chameleonaire and Lazy Bone depicting themselves as people who should be in jail. The song definitely has some sick ass wordplay, and sadly, Chameleonaire, who has one of the weirdest names in hip hop, became a one hit wonder. Let me be real with y'all, if you check out his other stuff, you could tell he was flexing some lyrical skill. 2005 was the year after hip hop died, and he was one of the very few mainstream artists that were actually good at rapping. And yes, I know, he didn't start out in 2005, he had a compilation album with Paul Wall in 2002, but Ryan Dirty came out in 2005, and he was a rapper from the South. I bring that up because according to hip hop, no other place is as controversial than the South. Back then, artists from the South were seen as sellouts with no lyrical skill. I mean, you could definitely understand the argument when there were many bad rappers then and now from the South, with only a few exceptions like Outkast, Ludacris, and Ghetto Boys. But as time went on, the stigma of Southern rap being bad no matter what started to fade away way in the 2000s, but nowadays it's slowly creeping back in because mumble rappers have to ruin everything. Now, I'm not someone who's going to determine whether or not an artist is good based off where they're from. To be honest, I really hate the whole, which is better, the east or the west coast type of deal. Because in rap, it's not about where you were born that determines your skill, it's how much effort you put into your music and a healthy amount of consistency. And Chameleonaire definitely had a consistent amount of good music. Now, from what I can tell, his last solo project came out in 2014 called Go Get Up. Now, I'm not one of those people that's going to go to an artist and be like, hey, you need to constantly create new music over and over again. Because making good music is hard work. And these are people, not machines, despite what the auto-tune wants you to think. Also, some people are satisfied with what they have done in life and think they have lost their touch, so they stop making music so that they don't destroy their legacy which is respectable. Now today's song, Hip Hop Police, does have a very interesting concept. It combines police brutality with people who have a stigma against hip hop who want to police the artist. You know, the people who are blind to a corrupt society who don't want to be parents blaming hip hop for crime and violence, which they would be totally fine with if it was shown in a movie made by a white person. Jesus Christ, I mean, even today, we get people who don't know anything about the genre, either its history or what makes it stand out as an art form. Hell, people don't even think it's an art form, and as a hip hop head that dreams of getting professional equipment so that I can release my music on iTunes and such, and has worked hard to make creative lyrics with my own songs on YouTube that wants to work with his idols in a genre, yeah, that pisses me off when people say that it's evil or needs to be banned or that it's not even an art form. It pisses me off more than someone who thinks they can rap when they can't. At least they like the genre. So is Hip Hop Police a good product that fully embraces its concept or is it whack? Well, let's see. There's so much drama in the industry, Hip Hop Police are listening, be careful or you'll be history, looks like another unsolved mystery. Okay, I don't know what listening was supposed to rhyme with, but it starts out okay, describing the industry being corrupt because label heads are leeches, and how there are tons of arrogant people out there who are trying to get rid of the artist to where they become history. Also, we see tons of stories about label heads fucking over the artist they sign, and when the artists bite back, they become history because they get drawn out. And for the police brutality aspect, history means being dead. Now, there is a classic Snoop Dogg song being referenced here. Murder was the case. Now, often you hear references in rap being used to show respect, fit a certain rhyme scheme, or get hip hop head brownie points with many old school references, or by just shouting out as many old school rappers as you can with no sense of artistry. But here, it is used for a purpose because people will blame rap music for crimes like drug dealing, shootings, and in this case, murder. But it's not art that causes these things. No one is going to listen to NWA and automatically become violent. When we get stories like that, there was something already going on in that individual's life, environment, and mental health. These people, if they didn't get any help, would have acted violently or go to drugs whether or not these songs existed. Also, the chorus is very catchy. And the other meaning behind the hook is people trying to blame black people for crimes they didn't commit. Now, in the verses, there's a bit of back and forth with a millionaire and a cop. The cop tries to blame him for crimes he didn't commit, and Chameleonaire defends itself. Officer, I didn't do it. You can't blame me for this. One side of the story is how cops would target black men for crimes he didn't do because they have a quota to fill and think they can get away with harassing a black man because of the racism that has been built into the system, which allows them to get away with it. And also, people want to stick crimes to rap artists for stuff that other people committed, which doesn't have anything to do with the artist. Now, as the rest of the first verse goes on, there really isn't that kind of double entendre. It just sticks to the police brutality aspect. But I'm not complaining. No cooperation is exactly what you would get. Till I talk to my lawyer, you get no reply. You've obviously been watching too much CSI. I'm not a crash dummy, so don't even try to talk your dirty trash to me. No. 
Here, he describes how crooked cops will try to trick the victims into thinking that they don't have any rights that they actually do have so that they can continue to harass them. Yeah, guys, always say that you want your lawyer. Also, BFI is a waste management company with the whole talk your dirty trash lyric. So, I don't think that should have been censored, even though it also means big fucking idiot. You are not guilty of anything, then why did you run? Cause you the police, and first I saw you cocking you. We always hear, if they weren't guilty of anything, then they have no reason to run. But peep this, cops are often sent to urban, or should I say, black communities. While people in suburban communities won't see as much as people in urban communities because of the systematic racism in America. So, you will often see more police brutality in urban communities than in suburban, including what the media doesn't show. And it happens whether or not the victim complies or if they were guilty or complied completely innocent. So you see stuff like that almost every day of your life and you feel like you're about to become a statistic? Why the fuck wouldn't you run? Rap Genius says that the BS is wordplay for Biggie Smalls, but there is literally nothing else in the lyrics to actually make that connection, and Biggie Smalls was never called BS. But then we get... Sort of while I was expecting you dead. This talks about how cops will plant evidence at the scene, and there is a reference to two Wu-Tang Clan members, Method Man, who is often called Meth, and Inspector Deck, and the other references also work. Who is his other friend who's wearing the scalp? What about this pimp guy? He was on one of your songs. I could have sworn that he said he had a pocket full of... Am I wrong? Hell yeah, I don't know who that is. I don't know no pimp C. You ain't getting out of here. You must think it's just slid. In the car, we confiscated the... In the diary that you had and all your blueprints. On the death row booklet, we found your two prints. Your thumb and your index. The judge will love this. I mean, this is just masterful. And gave us a description, so we pick up your boy, and you'll get a lighter sentence if you put the crime on him. A big celebrity, a case we long for. You a pirate? Why you got that eye patch on for? Funny. Put now this is Slick Rick. He has one of the smoothest voices in hip hop with lyrical skill to match as he's a great storyteller. I recognize he's one of the best, even if I'm not that into him. Where were you the night of April 21st on home? I think you got your facts wrong. Gats on you, chameleonaire, Rob shut couple cats on Melview. What? We Here the cops, trying to fill out a quota, have to stick a crime to two black men because they think they can get away with it. In the lineup, don't speak until we tell you to. This the person who gym your lock, sir. Now we get to the part where the cop is talking to an eyewitness and try to have him pick who they want to prosecute. Was dark, kinda look like him, I'm not sure. Now this line talks about how people really can't pin down who did the crime based on when the crime took place, so they try to pick the most criminal looking black man. Failing to nail cause assailants are uh -huh. Now we get Slick Rick's perspective, describing how the cops failed to pin him to the crime. Assailant caught, now they all apologetic. Well now they do have the actual criminal, and are apologizing to Slick for thinking that he caused the actual crime. And by day, it could either be the cops or the people who blame artists for other people's actions. I give this song a 5 out of 5. It tackles two very important problems in society very well, and the beat is also pretty good too. There was also a lot of clever wordplay and double entendres that showed that Chameleon Air and Slick Rick were thinking about their writing. Hey guys, The Animal King here. Thank you guys for watching my video, and please like and subscribe. It helps more than you think. Also, if you want to request a certain video, the prices are right here for whatever you want to request. Have a good day.